भक्तवृंदसमितैतन प्रभु वंदे निंदसहो नंदनंदनहं वंदे राधिका चरणुद्ध गोपीनां समुक्ता वृंदवन मनोहर तवैवास्मि तवैवास्मि न जिवामि तया बिना विज्ञाते राधे तंग नया चरणाके श्रीकृष्णाचन प्रभो नेतानंद श्रीयाद्वैत गाधर श्रीवासादिश्री घोरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे हरि हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ओवर माय हम्बल respectful obeisances lord shri tapo guru pad padmo nitya lila pravishtam vishnu pad ashtotra satasya mad bhakti vedanta shila bhavan gosai maharaj and nitya lila pravishtam vishnu pad ashtotra satasya mad bhakti vedanta shila nan gosai maharaj and samantana shri offer my humble respectful dhanavad pranam lodeshwar nitalila prishtam vishnu pad ashtudara samad bhakti vedanta swami maharaj and all senior devotees and all vishnu vishnubis and presented all of my respectful guests Just I want to say few words. <coughs> you have come from very far countries. And I have also come very far countries. <laughs> Just we are meeting together in here. as like krishna he came from daruka and gopi they also came from vrindavan and all they meet together in kurukshetra ah then like just like krishna that he is from very far 
遥远的地方啊，是吧？啊，那那是物流工量还是很大的，很遥远。然后他们在那里相聚呢，他们在啊啊 g u r u s a g u r u s a c h a 那个地方相聚的，相聚的。That time, Krishna, he was very happy to meet with the gopis. 那个时候呢 ，Krishna 非常的开心的去和这些物流工量相聚的。Gopis. Internally very happy to meet with Krishna, but externally they expressed their heart as like angry mood. Ah, this is when they were very happy to meet with Krishna. But externally they expressed their heart as like angry mood. Ah, this is when they were very happy to meet with Krishna. But externally they expressed their heart as like angry mood. Ah, this is when they were very happy to meet with Krishna. But externally they expressed their heart as like angry mood. Ah, this is when they were very happy to meet with Krishna. But externally they expressed their heart as like angry mood. 为什么物流姑娘外在的他们都非常有这么多怒怨气、怒气呢 ？Because Gopi they have love and affection with Krishna. 因为物流姑娘对 Krishna 也充满了很多的情感和爱意的。When love coming that time, that is called transcendental anger. That is called Bhamo Bhav will come. 哦，那是那个时候，那是物流姑娘。<coughs> And gopis, they also too much cried for Krishna. Because so long time, gopis they. Wait for Krishna, but Krishna did not return back to Vrindavan. When Krishna left Vrindavan, Krishna promised to the gopis. Hey, hey, gopis, don't worry about me. Today I am going in Mathura, and tomorrow I will King Kongsa. Then I will return back to and back to Vrindavan and meet I meet with you. Krishna is this way. Mother Guru said, "I will today leave Mathura. Then I will go to Mathura. Then I will go to Kongsa. Then I will come back." Krishna is this way. Mother Guru said. But Krishna did not back Mathura to Vrindavan. So for this regard, gopis they have so much angry with him. Actually, this anger is not material anger. In this material world, anger coming when we are not feelful, our desires. But in transcendental world, Abhagda Siddhyoga, that anger actual for too much love and affection with Gopi Krishna and Gopi. 但是物呃灵性世界呢是物流姑娘呢他们的对 Krishna 的这种的期待。When love manifests one's heart, that is the automatically the symptom will come. 嗯，实际上一个人对他他心中有那种情感和爱的时候呢，是这种情感会自然而来的，就是说他有那种，就是说呃生气哈，他会自然来的。呃 ，Even sadhak sadhak when he Perform bhajan and sadhan, and slowly, slowly he develop his spiritual life. So, we have to practice our own meditation, and then we can slowly, slowly, to in the meditation path, to develop our spiritual life. Then, there is sraddha, sadhu sangha, bhajan kriya. Ah, we from sraddha starts our meditation. 然后我们的灵修呢，然后呢，就是我们的这个呃，说，说他，说他，说他，说他，说他，说他，说他，说他，说他，说他，说他，说他，说他，说他，说他，说他，说他，说他，说他，说他，说他，说他，说他，说他，
भजन क्रिया अनर्थ निवृत्ति निष्ठा रुचि आसक्ति एंड भाव एंड प्रेम सो जस्ट आई ऑल्सो एक्सप्लेन दे वाई गोपीज दे एंग्री विथ कृष्ण सो गोपीज दिस एंगार एक्चुअल दे गॉट ट्रांसजेंडल एंड एंगार एंड ऑल्सो दे हैव लाव एंड एफेक्शन विथ कृष्ण So far, this is regard gopis they cried and also in anger mood asked to Krishna, "Why did not you return, return back in in Vrindavan?" Ah, yes, 就是因为呃，木流姑娘对 Krishna 没有回到文达尔的这个原因，他他们对他有这种怒气。Krishna did not return back Vrindavan to Mathura. There are hmm? there are so many reasons in our acharyas explained in their commentary. So we have many of our acharyas. He has given many reasons in his commentary. Why Krishna did not return back to Vrindavan? Actually, Krishna. He relished meeting Lila with the gopis in Vrindavan. Ah, actually, Krishna was in Vrindavan. He had many gopis with these gopis. Then Krishna is thinking, I have to mm. relish Lila with the gopis. Ah, he is thinking, I have to relish the separation and mellows from the heart of the gopis. Ah, actually, Krishna is thinking, I have to relish Lila with the gopis. Because no bina be prolambe no sambhogo pushti masante without separation meeting would be not complete realizable. Ah, we can number 就是分离之情，没有的分离之情，那你的相会的那种的喜乐呢，是会减少很多的。For this regard, Krishna did not return back Mathura to Vrindavan. So, it is this reason. Krishna did not go back to Mathura. But gopis, they felt pang of separation from Krishna. But the gopis, they felt pang of separation from Krishna. But the gopis, they felt pang of separation from Krishna. They were staying. Gopis, they were staying in Vrindavan. And and day and night they remember to Krishna. But gopis they are the eternal associates of Krishna. Gopis they are eternal associates of Krishna. But in fact, these gopis they are the eternal associates of Krishna. Gopis they are eternal associates of Krishna. Gopis they are eternal associates of Krishna. Gopis they are eternal associates of Krishna. They never separate from Krishna. Actually, they never separate from Krishna. But Jogmaya, she arranged this separation from Krishna. Actually, 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 So long time, they also separate from Krishna. Hmm. But we, these so条件限制的灵魂呢，我们事实上呢和 Krishna 是分离的。And Krishna fully say, "Jeev, anadi bahir mukh, ate maya tare day samsaradi dok." But the jeevas, conditioned soul, they forget to Krishna, and coming in this material world and suffering. The three poles of Maya. Hmm. Can say, 众生这些微灵啊，离开了 Krishna， 来到这个物质世界，受尽了无尽的苦难的。So for this regard, Maya Devi, she is giving heavy punishment to the conditioned soul. So, 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 so
Why? Why? We are in this material world. Main reason because we forget to Krishna and want to enjoy the material sense gratification. So for this regard, Maya Devi she is giving punishment to us. But gopis, they are not conditional soul. But they are. actually the gopis, they are called the internal potential of Krishna. So because Srimati Radhika says the internal potential of Krishna, that is the pleasure potential of Krishna. And, and gopis, they cried but suffering in this material world, not an, as like condition of soul. But Yeah, just I like compare with the gopis and conditioned soul. Conditioned soul, Buddha Ji was, they are suffering in this material world with according to their fruitful action, karma fall. Conditioned soul, they are suffering in this material world with their fruitful action, karma fall. Oh. But gopis, they also felt pang of pang of separation from Krishna. Not the activities of Maya. Then gopis they felt pang of separation from Krishna. And suffering, pain in their heart. Actual, that is called a yoga maya. She arranged. Then, Gopi they also, I told already, Gopi they also cried for Krishna, and they left in their house, and they were staying. In the forest. And day and night crying for Krishna. So gopis, all their activities and performed by yoga maya. And our conditions of the jivas, they are suffering many. Three kinds of force of Maya that is called also um, sub, uh, punishment of Maya. Because I compare with the gopis and conditioned soul. Gopis, they have no any kinds of and to enjoy the material sense categories. Their all the activities, body, mind, space, everything, absolutely dedicated with Krishna. Even gopis, they have no. Mother, father, and brother, sister, children. All their life and life, everything is for Krishna. And because Gopi, they have so much love and affection with Krishna. Our conditioned soul, Buddha Ji was. They already forgot to Krishna. And conditioned soul, day and night, enjoying 
their material sense gratification and they completely, absolutely forget to Krishna. So Sadhu Guru, they are coming in a material world to remind so the condition so. That's why Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told Jeev Jago, Jeev Jago, Gura Chand Bali, Kata Nidra Jau Maya, Pishachi Kali. He conditioned Sulubadha Jiva, please wake up, wake up. How long are you sleep on the lap of Maya? Please take this medicine of Harinam. Eh? Mahaprabhu loudly announced in eh? a conditioned soul, but they were, please take this medicine. So conditioned soul, they have no idea about Krishna. Maya Baddha Jivir Nahi Krishna Smriti Gyan. The conditioned soul they completely dedicated with Mahamaya. Yeah, two kinds of Maya. One is called Yoga Maya, another is called Maha Maya. So, condition of Subhadda Ji was what kinds of activities performed by Maha Maya? Uh, those are liberated souls, Mukta Purush, and their all their activities performed by Yoga Maya. Yeah. Why I am saying? Because gopis and Krishna, they are completely different things. Gopis, they are called the Radhi Sakti of Srimati Radhika, pleasure potency of Krishna. Our Baddha Ji was yeah, they completely elucidated by Maya. And Pesadi Baddha Ji was so much bodily conception. Bodily conception. Yes. But gopis, they have no any bodily conception. Yeah. They comp they twenty four hours absorbed with Krishna. Yeah. Our Baddha Ji was twenty four absorbed with their material sense gratification. Yeah. For this regard, Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami Chaitanya Chaitanya Amritam very clearly explained. So, now coming in this way, the gopis, they cried for Krishna and they also used many chastisement towards Krishna. Yeah. And some gopis they become very angry with Krishna. Yeah. And they cut their lips with the truth and, and chastised to him. Yeah. And they were crying and crying. Yeah. And they sometimes they use very harsh words to Krishna. 
Oh, you are very cruel. You are liar. In this way, gopis they chastise to Krishna. Krishna is Bhagavan. He is the supreme personality of God. He is saying Bhagavan. He is not a cruel. He is not also liar. Krishna's heart is very soft. More than the butter. And, and Krishna, Krishna also never tells a lie. And always he speaks the truth. Satyam param dhimahi. Krishna is called the absolutely truth. And what he is saying? That is the absolutely truth. Hmm? And <coughs> Krishna is not cruel, and Krishna also he is not uh, the, uh, liar. Liar. Mm. Uh, because Krishna told to the gopis, Parasu, as you may, it is to come. Today I am going, tomorrow I will kill Kangsa, and then day after tomorrow I will return back. So, in this way, Krishna pacified to the gopis. Yes. Actually, Krishna, he did not leave Vrindavan. Yes. His expansion yes. when Vrindavan to Mathura. Vrindavan Krishna always he remains in Vrindavan. So his expansion and manifest in Mathura. This is very confidential philosophy in our Gaudiya Sampradaya. Because Krishna says, Vindavanam Pratyajyam Padmekam Na Gacchan. I will never leave Vindavan. So Vindavan Krishna always he remains in Vindavan. Sometimes Visible, sometimes invisible. So, just I will explain Krishna's two expansions. One is called Matradhis Krishna and one is called Dargadhis Krishna. Matradhis Krishna and Dargadhis Krishna. And that means origin Krishna and that is called Vrindavan Samsundha in Vrindavan. Vrindavan Pratyajyam Padameka Nagachati. Krishna says, I never go out from Vrindavan one step. Vindavan Pritajyam Padamekam Na Gachati. Krishna says, Krishna promised us in this. So, Krishna, he always speaks the truth. Understand? Conditions so always speak the truth. Untruth. Untruth. Okay. Now, we all know that 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 we all know that
He will going to the east. You are saying I am going to <laughs> south or west. <laughs> but Krishna, he never tell lie. Hmm. Yeah. Even so, just again I compare with Krishna and Krishna also. Uh, Krishna is Bhagavan. He is the supreme personality of Godhead. How possible he will be cruel and how possible he will be liar. Uh, because Krishna is called absolutely um, the embodiment of truth. Satya Mutta Vigraha. Uh, for this year, Srimad Bhagavad explains Satyam Parang Dhimahi. Yes. That means, always I meditate the absolute truth to Lord. Yes. Satyam Parang Dhimahi. Yes. So now coming in this age, we also explain about Conditional soul, they have some bodily conception, they are the heart of the You have, have you bodily conception or not? Yeah. Who has bodily conception? Yeah. 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 All you have bodily conception. Yeah. And that is called you are. False egos, mitha of Iman. Eh? First, you are conditioned soul, you are not this body. Eh? You are not man, you are not woman. Eh? So, who are you? You are the eternally servant of Krishna. Jivir Sarubhai Krishna Nitada. And all who are the eternal servant of Krishna. And, but you are giving your false identification. I am a man, I am a woman, they, 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 many things. And, why? Because constant soul, they completely forget to Krishna. Yeah. And they completely, for, completely they forget their own and transcendental consideration form. Yeah. For this regard, Baddha Jiva, the conditioned soul, they are giving their false uh, identification. But the, with the association with sadhu, sangha, then slowly we realize I am not this body, I am the eternal servant of Krishna. Nahang vipro nacha narvati na vaisana sudra grihasta parani jatidva. Kintu pradhudrikham paramananda purna mitabde gopi bhartur padakamalur dasam das. Mahaprabhu explained this, I am not Brahman, I am not Chaitra, Vaishya, Sudra. Even I am not Sannasi, Brahmachari, Banprasthi. So who are you? You are the servant, servant of Krishna and with the beloved of the Gopi. That is called um, Gopi Bhattur, Padakamalur. Dasan, dasan. Yeah. You understand? You are the eternal servant of Krishna. This is your real identification. But conditioned soul completely elucidated by Maya and for this God they are giving this bodily conception. They have to do. 
在这个这这个这个虚虚在虚在的这个虚体的这个虚体的概念的。But every day, if you chant holy names, then then slowly you realize and will come. Who am I? 然后呢，如果通过每天我们慢慢念诵，然后慢慢慢慢的，我们对我们的灵性身份的认知就会啊，就开启了。You are not the residents of this material world. You are the residents of Guru Vrindavan. And just you misuse your and <coughs> satantra independence potence. Ah, we are ah, ah, is ah, we misuse our independence. 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 Ah, we misuse our And when you forget to Krishna, then automatically your bodily conception has come. You understand? And just I very briefly explain about Jiva Tattva. Actually, all the jivas they manifested from Krishna's marginal potency, the Tarsha Shakti. Actually, all the jivas they manifested from Krishna's marginal potency, the Tarsha Shakti. Actually, all the jivas they manifested from Krishna's marginal potency, the Tarsha Shakti. Actually, all the jivas they manifested from Krishna's marginal potency, the Tarsha Shakti. Actually, all the jivas they manifested from Krishna's marginal potency, the Tarsha Shakti. Actually, all the jivas they manifested from Krishna's marginal potency, the Tarsha Shakti. Actually, all the jivas they manifested from Krishna's marginal potency, the Tarsha Shakti. Actually, all the jivas they manifested from Krishna's marginal potency, the Tarsha Shakti. Actually, all the jivas they manifested from Krishna's marginal potency, the Tarsha Shakti. Actually, all the jivas they manifested from Krishna's marginal potency, the Tarsha Shakti. Actually, all the jivas they manifested from Krishna's marginal potency, the Tarsha Shakti. Actually, all the jivas they manifested from Krishna's To enjoy with Maya. Um, that moment, that moment, you are very happy to enjoy this. And Maya is very tricky. Um, 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 Maya is very tricky. Mahadevi is doing this way because when she was manifested from the marginal potency to Krishna, marginal potency of Krishna, that time he can see two worlds. One is called the transcendental world, another is called material world. Yeah, just condition a jiva is yeah, sitting. On the middle of transcendental world and material world. And those jivas, and so to Krishna's transcendental world, they automatically attain to Guru Vrindavan. We are conditioned so. My word. Eh? When we were in the line, a uh, border line of Chidjivaran transient, that is the Trisha Shakti. We, 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 Those jivas turn their face towards transcendental world. They attend to Golok and Vrindavan. But those jivas turn their face towards material world and to enjoy the sense gratifications with Maya. And then Maya Devi very quickly grabbed. The conditions. Because Maya Devi, she has three kinds of activities. First, Maya Devi, she took the conditioned soul. And cover with very nice, beautiful, and the. <coughs> gross body. Mm. 
And in this gross body, also Maya Devi is put another body that is called subtle body. Yeah. Even she is not happy with the conscious soul. Then she also fact us with very nicely. Yeah. And also Mahadevi she tied uh, <coughs> with the three ropes of um, what is it called? Maya's gunas qualities of Maya. Yeah. That is called Rajasik, Tamasik and Satik. Yeah. She is very picking very nicely with her. And tied with the three ropes. Yeah. Already I told the three ropes that is called Shatta, Raja and Tamabhani. Yeah. So this type of activity of Maya that is called Avaran Atmika Vritti. Maya's this type of tendency, Avaran means to cover. And then Maya Devi is another activity that is called Vritship Atmika Vritti means to throw. Yeah. Then we have come in this material world. Yeah. Then we have come in this material world. Yeah. So just I explain my two kinds of activity. One is called Avrinatma Vritti and it is called Vikshep Atmika Vritti. Yeah. Now we are coming in this material world. And with the three folds of a <coughs> three folds of Maya, all we are suffering. Yeah. That is called Adi Daivik, Adi Bhotik and Adhati. And Adi Devi, some kinds of distress are coming from demigod, demigod is that is called Adi Daivik. Yeah. Adi Bhotik, there means some kinds of distress are coming from others living entities. As like snake bites. And many kinds. And that is these types of distress is called Adi Bhotik. Our Adhantik some kind of distress are coming from our mind. Eh? Who has mind problem? Eh? Have you mind, mind problem? <laughs> Many. Eh? So now coming in this math, uh, three kinds of activities. Yeah. That is called <coughs> Adhanti. Uh, uh, my two kinds of activities actually. Three, nine, two. One is called Avaratmika Avaran Atmika Vritti, and one is called Bikshep Atmika Vritti. Avaran means to cover. Eh? Now we completely cover with my mass. Eh? Eh? 
So now coming this way, Mayadevi very nicely packing to us. So you know, Mayadevi is gives us two things. One is called gross body. In the gross body, another body that is called subtle body. Yeah. This body is called gross body, made by the five elements. Yeah. Inside this gross body, another body that is called subtle body, that is called sukshma yeah. That is called mind, intelligent, egos, and um, past impressions. That is called Mon, Buddhi, Anka, and Chitta. So this is called the subtle body. In this subtle body, then Jivatma soul is there. Yeah. Conditional soul, every life, they left their gross body. Yeah. When we left this gross body, then we are saying we are done. We are yeah, done. Yeah. Are inside subtle body, Atma, soul remains. Yeah. That means conclusion is that conscious soul, every life they left their gross body. But they never give up their subtle body. That is called Mon, Mon, Buddhi, Ahankara, and Chitta. Huh? You understand? Unlimited time, we are wondering in the same cycle of the huh? And so many false egos coming. For this regard, conditions so they committed many kinds of sinful activities or pious activities. So, with their <coughs> committed sinful activity, they are going to lower planets, that they are not rock. And those who are performing pious activities, they are going higher level of the um, planetary system, that is called um, heaven, sarva loka. Yeah. So, both also, conditional soul, uh, to act, uh, what is it called? Those who are going to heaven, or those who are going to hell, both are also uh, enjoying. Yeah. Enjoying or not? Both are also enjoying. Those who are going to the Norak, they also enjoy. And those who are going to heaven, they also enjoy. Who? Oh. Yeah. They are happy. Yeah. As like stool warm. Yeah. You know, stool warm. Yeah. They are enjoying eating the stool. They are happy. Yeah. They are not happy. They are happy or not? If you separate the stool warm from the stool, they are going where the stool. Yeah. <laughs> both are, so for this you are saying both are angels. Yeah. Are, are those who are going to heaven, they are enjoying also their 
eh, drinking very nice, eh, amrit, nectar, different different things. Eh? Actually, both are enjoying. Eh? Understand? And both are also suffering also. Eh? Who is not suffering in this material world? Eh? Because mayas, eh, many kinds of activities. For that, they are suffering. Adantik, Adidogi, Adidogi. Eh? Even those who are staying in Sargo Loka, heaven, they are also suffering many kinds of distress and unhappiness. Eh? Sometimes they lose their position. Eh? Sometimes they won't attack to heaven Sargo Loka. Eh? You understand? Fighting to each other. Eh? That is called Deva Osur Sangram. Deva Osur Sangram. Sometimes demigod and demon, they also fighting to each other. Eh? Sometimes demigod, they lose their also kingdom, heaven. Eh? So for this regard, they are also suffering in so there. We are not saying always they are enjoying. Uh, so eh? Our condition also, they also enjoying and suffering. Uh, eh? Those who are going to Narak, they also enjoying and suffering. Just as you are the compare and less and more. Eh? Those who are staying in heaven, they are enjoying more and suffering less. And those who are going to Narak, eh? they also enjoying less and suffering more. Only these are different. Eh? So, but how to free from all this material enjoyment and eh, or suffering? Eh? 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 So now coming in this way, conditioned soul in this way, and uh, underneath the same cycle of repeated birth and death. And, and according to their past activities, Kapuna Karma, sometimes they used to go heaven and sinful activity they used to go hell, Narak. So now, why am I saying it? Because Krishna is Bhagavan and Jiva, they are that part and parcel of Lord. Eh? So, Jivas will never become a Lord. Eh? So, now coming in this, Krishna is acting eh, <coughs> as a human being. Krishna is acting oh, as a human our gopis, they also acting as like a human being. But Krishna and gopis, they are not jiva tattva. They are called, and Krishna is called Bhagavat tattva. And gopis, they are called, and Krishna's pleasure potency. 
那么所以呢，就是呃，但是不一样的就是呃，那些牧牧牛姑娘，呃 ，Krishna 是至尊主哈，他是呃 ，Krishna 他嘛，然后呢，那些牧牛姑娘呢，是 Krishna 能量的在真理。Krishna and Gopi, they are also beyond of Maya. And Hari hi nirguna sakshat purusha prakiti para. And Samad Bhagavata gives a video. Where is Krishna, where is Gopi, there is no Maya. But Gopi is their activities as like conditional soul. Eh? They cried for Krishna, they are angry with Krishna. They also chastisement to Krishna. Eh? Actually, they have so much love and affection with Krishna. Eh? And Krishna is very humble. Eh? Krishna says, hey gopis, why you are angry with me? Eh? If you say why eh, I am separate from you, eh? then Krishna told, This is not my fault. Eh? Krishna he goes, This is the nature, Prakriti. Eh? In this material world, in the nature, sometimes all we are meeting together and also separate to each other. Eh? How many years you are separate? <laughs> now we are meeting together. This is true. <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> so just I also explain this way. Krishna pacified with the gopis. Hey gopis, gopis don't angry with me. Huh? This is not my fault. Huh? Then Krishna he gave very nice example. Oh, eh? Everything depends on the nature, prakriti. Oh, eh? And meeting and separation, this is not in our hand. Oh, eh? Just give an example. If you take some grass, eh? bundle of grass, Grass. Huh? Understand? Then you throw in the current of the water. Then all the grass, huh? Staying together and floating in the water. Then after few minutes you can see all the grasses eh, spread. Split. Eh? And some grasses also floating east, west and in the eh? And sometimes also meeting together, sometimes also going here. And there. Eh? Because in this way, Krishna explained the how jivas they are meeting together and also split to each other. Eh? Unlimited time, jivas they also. Wandering in the cycle of limited life. Sometimes meeting, sometimes it's a... This is true. In this way, all we are and wandering in the same cycle of limited birth and death. 
，水真的转换转就是这样，呃。And sometimes they're taking bath in different different places. Ah, then, because sometimes they are taking bath in India, many times they took bath in China, America. Ah, then, because sometimes they are taking bath in India, many times they took bath in China, America. Ah, then, because sometimes they are taking bath in India, many times they took bath in China, America. Ah, then, because sometimes they are taking bath in India, many times they took bath in China, America. Ah, then, because sometimes they are taking bath in India, many times they took bath in China, America. Ah, then, because sometimes they are taking bath in India, many times they took bath in China, America. Ah, then, because sometimes they are taking bath in India, many times they took bath in China, America. Ah, then, because sometimes they are taking bath in India, many times they took bath in China, America. Ah, then, because sometimes they are taking bath in India, many times they took bath in China, America. Ah, then, because sometimes they are taking bath in India, many times they took bath in China, America. Ah, then, because Huh? She takes birth in America. She thinks I am American. Huh? You are Russian. You are not Russian. You are not American. You are not Chinese. Huh? This is your view. Only this is called bodily conception and false ego that come. Actually, you are the eternal servant of Krishna. Jivi Saru Bhai Krishna Nithura. Eh? Understand these things. So, in this way, actually Krishna is giving many teaching to us. Eh? Another thing, Krishna, in this way, he relishes uh, meeting Lila and separation Lila. Uh, and Krishna is very eager to listen. Gopis uh, this type of chastisement from their mouth. Uh, Already I told Gopi they chastised to Krishna. Eh? What did what did he say to Krishna? Gopi? Eh? What did he say? You are liar. Eh? You are very cruel, nistful. Eh? Because Krishna is Bhagavan, He wants to listen these types of sweet words from the mouth of the Gopi. Eh? What do you think? Always remember, Krishna is not liar or Krishna is not and cruel. Eh? In this way, Krishna, he releases different different melodies from the heart of the gopis. Because Krishna is called the uh, topmost kanusana, rasik sekal Krishna paramakuru. When love coming, deep love and affection, that time they use these types of harsh words to Krishna. And these types of harsh words, no one can tell to Krishna, eh, tell to Lord in Vaikuntha, Ajuddha, Daraka and Mathura. But gopis, they are very easy, frequently. They also use these words to Krishna. And Krishna also, when gopis, they use these harsh words and crying and Krishna pacified to them. Because this is their deep love, Gavir Prem. You understand? Always I mean compare with Gopis and Conscious Soul. Then we will not be able to compare with Gopis and Conscious Soul. 
And gopis, they, or again I remember, gopis, they are not conditioned soul body. Actually, they are, they are called the tight manifestation of pleasure potential of Krishna, uh, Krishna, that is called Hadrin Shakti Sarpindri Simati Radhika. Hence, Ananda Chinmarasa Pratibhavita Arvijo Nija Rupa Taya Kalavi. In Brahma Sintha, there are many evidence. But we have to learn many things from Krishna and Gopis. The conversation between Krishna and Gopis. But question is coming, conditional soul, how to attain to the abode of Lord. And if you listen to this katha, your heart will be overjoyed. And Krishna performed this leela and to giving mercy to the all the living entities. Anugraha bhaktanam manusam dehmasikam bhajati etadja kira jasutta tatpuru bhavit. Srimad Bhagavatam gives this evidence. Krishna performed this Leela in Goloka Vrindavan. And same Leela, Krishna manifests in this material world with his yoga mind. Eh? And if you listen to this Katha, then your heart would be overjoyed. Eh? So for the Anugraha Vaktanam Manusam Dhimasitam Bhajati Tadisha Kira Jasutva Tatparu Bhavit. If you listen to this Katha and absorb with Krishna, and then you will free from Maya. Huh? You will free from Maya or not? If you listen to this Katha, and but one thing, everybody wants to listen to Krishna Katha. Only one person he does not want to listen to Krishna Katha. One person does not want to listen to Krishna Who is he? Does not want to listen to Krishna Katha? Eh? Who is sleeping? <laughs> <laughs> Who is sleeping on the lap of Maya? <laughs> Who is sleeping on the lap of Maya? How possible to listen? <laughs> If you sleep on the lap of Maya, you cannot listen. So for this regard, I'm saying, wake up, wake up, wake up. Huh? How will you wake up from the lap of Maya? Huh? Mahaprabhu said, Jeep jago, Jeep jago, Gora chand bali, Kata nidra, eh? Kata nidra jau Maya, Pisa jiri kali. How long you sleep on the lap of Maya? Huh? If you sleep on the lap of Maya, you cannot listen. <laughs> yeah? Understand? So I'm saying, you wake up, wake up. <laughs> yeah? Understand? Don't sleep as like Kumbhakarana. <laughs> yeah? Kumbhakarana, understand? <laughs> Kumbhakarana. <laughs> the brother of Ravana. Yeah? The brother of Ravan, his name was Kumbhakarana. And excuse me, six months continuously. <laughs> then, one, then one day wake up and eating, 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 and again sleep. Yeah. <laughs> Understand? One say, yeah, only one time wake up. Every six months. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> so if we sleep on the lap of Maya, you cannot listen. Huh? So how will you wake up from the lap of Maya? Huh? Mahaprabhu is saying this. Energy Usadi Maya Nasibar Lagi Harina Mahamantra Lord Maya. Please wake up. Huh? 
and chant holy names. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. And if you chant holy names, then sleepless automatically what? Quiet. Huh? Because Hari is Hari Katha. Then Jam Maharaj 3, dot, 4 daughters automatically come. 4 daughters of Jam Maharaj will come. Jam Maharaj 4 daughters of Jam Maharaj will come. Hari is Hari Katha. Then Jam Maharaj 4 daughters will come. Huh? And they, their duty is how to make you to sleep. <laughs> Understand? So very carefully. And distance from four daughters of Yamaharaj. Yamaharaj is so now coming in this way. But if you chant holy names, then automatically four daughters of Maya will end. If you chant holy names, huh? so tomorrow will be explained more. Good Priman. Please. Huh? Please wake up. <laughs> huh? Good or not? Banchagri Ripa, Sindhu Be Vacha, Padita Nang Pavane Bho, Vaishna Be Bho Nam, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna.